Hello everyone, welcome to Geeks for Geeks. So let's talk about today's problem. Our problem name is longest valid parenthesis. So let's first read the question. Our question is we are given the string consisting of opening and closing parenthesis, which is normal brackets. We just have to find the length of the longest valid parenthesis substring, right? So here the parenthesis string is valid if we have two properties given to us is for every opening parenthesis, there must be a closing parenthesis, right? Opening parenthesis must be closed in a correct way, right? So these are the example which is given to us and our main motto is just to find the longest, which is valid parenthesis, right? Which cross each other in the correct order, right? Okay, let's see the example. So if you see the first example, if I tell you the first example, let's see a very normal example. This is the example, right? So in this case, if you see the first string, right? In this case, if you see in terms of array, right, we have two characters, right? And in this case, this is the opening bracket and this is the closing bracket, right? It means they are cancel out each other, right? So it means they are following the two property or not, right? If you see every opening bracket, there must be a closing bracket. Yes, we have the closing bracket, right? Okay. The second point will be opening bracket must be closed in the correct order. Yes, it is in the correct order, right? Just after that. Okay. So in that case, we can say that the length of that particular string will be due. Yes or no? So in this case, my output will be two, right? Okay. Now let's see for this case. If I take the example number two, right? In this case, what's happening is key first is closing again, closing again, closing and sorry, opening, 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 and then it's closing, right? Okay. Now in this case, it's opening. Okay. In this case, it's opening again, opening again, closing, right? Now we have a closing part. So can you say that that particular closing will be canceled? out this particular index, which is true. Yes or no. So it means these, this is the parenthesis, right? Which is valid parenthesis, which cross each other. What is the length of that two, right? In that case also, my output is two. Okay. Now let's see for this case, right? So this is an interesting case. Let's see how it is working fine. So if I make sure like this, right? I just add in terms of array, right? And in this case, what's happening is, the very first is your closing part, right? Very first is closing part. We just ignore that. After that, we have closing. Okay. Uh, oh, sorry. Opening part. After that, we have closing part, right? So it can we say that this is my valid part, right? So right now I just make my answer will be two, right? Okay. When I move forward, right? In that case, what's happening is, right? This is okay. After that, I see it's a opening bracket. After that, just we have a closing bracket. This is also my answer, right? So can you say that that particular is in the form of substring, right? Okay. Just after the another. So let me update my answer. In this case, my output will be four because after that we have again closing, right? Okay. This is also closing. So we just have to make a pair, which make in the form of opening closing. We just have to take the maximum length at the end. What we have to do is we just have to return my maximum answer, right? Okay. Here my maximum answer is this. Okay. Now let's see how we can solve this problem. So let's take these examples and try to solve again, right? Now, what I'm doing is, so I hope using valid parenthesis, the first thing which came to your mind is uh, that stack, right? We already solved a particular problem, which is simple part, right? We just have to check that particular string is valid parenthesis or not, right? Here the question is modified. They just want the longest length, right? So what I'm doing is, I simply make a stack, right? Okay. Let me make a first stack and in my stack, I simply make integer part of it. Why integer? Let's see it, right? Okay. What I'm doing here is I simply make a stack, right? Okay. So if I make the first example, right? What I'm doing is I simply add, see the first part. What is this particular first index? They said it's opening bracket. If it's opening now, if it's opening, just add the index into it. I simply add the index into it, right? Which is zero, right? Okay. And what's happening is after that, we have a closing bracket. If it's closing bracket, just pop it, just pop this particular part, right? If I'm popping this, I simply ask, Hey, now I am empty, right? Now I am empty, right? So see where I'm pointing right now, now at index number one, right? So what's happening here is we are at index number one, right? So what happening is this particular index one is cancel the zeroth index, right? It means, can you say that that particular two are my answer, right? 
my length will be 2 yes so right now i am i equal to 1 so i said zero is my part please give me the previous value which is here minus 1 right so i minus minus 1 will be the 2 that particular will give me the answer right okay let's see with the help of whole code how it's working fine right so i need minus 1 right in this case i visualize that part i need minus 1 right so what i am doing is i simply make a index variable which is equal to minus 1 right now okay and i make a star that's correct now here i just make a variable answer where i am storing my maximum answer right okay now see after that what i am doing is i simply run a loop like this right and in this case as i tell you there are two cases either it's opening either it's closing right so if that particular string is of opening part right if it's opening part what we have to do is we just have to add that particular into my answer right okay sorry we just have to add into my star what we have to add index right okay let me add the index here right so in this case i just add the index okay correct right okay now if you see when i'm adding this particular index which is zero after that my loop will be go to i equal to 1 right in that case we go to the else case and i'm asking first we just have to ask first right okay what i'm asking is if your st dot empty right is there anything in that case is false if it's false if it's false right what i'm doing is i simply pop the previous one right i simply pop the previous one so in that case what is happening is okay so here i am asking st dot empty equally equal to false and we just have to pop it right if i am popping that particular part after that nothing is there right okay nothing is there right okay so what i am doing is after popping this okay let me make here bracket part we just have to do after that as well so here i just pop it right after popping it i just have to ask hey anything left in this case or not they said nothing we don't have anything again we just have to ask if your sc dot empty again equal equal to false now right again we have something it means you have the previous index right but if we don't have we go to the else case and here what i am doing is my answer will be max of answer right and my i will be with me and index will help me to get the length right and in this case what's happening is we just have to make answer equal to max of answer right and in that case we have the i and the just previous value will give me which is your st dot top right okay now let's see the dry run of this case right okay now this is your else part right this is your if part in the else part we just have to update my index which is equal to y right let's see how it is working fine with the help of second example right okay now the very first thing is my index will be one let me write here index will be one right now and answer will be zero right now okay now as i see the opening bracket what i am doing is i simply add zero again what i am doing is we are in the if case right and i add one again i am adding two part right okay so after adding two part this is 0 1 2 3 right now when i am here right we go to the else case and i am asking first hey are you false they said yes i am false if you are false please disclose this right please remove this part right i simply remove this part right again i am asking my length will be this now my opening part will be this now right so i simply pop two into it right as i see uh, as i do here right after popping it the very next value will give me the length right 3 minus 1 which is equal to 2 yes so if you see here i am asking i minus st dot tau what is this give me this give me 2 right in that case what's happening is i just update my answer equal to 2 and after that whatever we have we just have to return my answer right in this form okay that's it that's it so in this case it's very simple okay let's see my third input so that we can understand much better so in this case let's make another array a uh, star let's suppose this is my star let's remove this part right okay and uh, what's happening in this in this is so this is my zeroth index right okay this is my 0 1 2 3 4 5 so this is the 
closing bar right we go to the else case right what i'm asking is see what i'm asking is in the else case when i go to the else case i simply ask are you false they said no we are not false right we are true right nothing is there in your stack part right now so in that case my index will be updated my index will be zero right my index will be zero in that case i just update my index let me write here index new index will be zero right now okay so i update my index here because whenever we reach to this case right we need my answer will be two right so for example we are here what's my answer if i cross this this answer will be this now right not minus one in that case we need index updated right that's why we just update my index here right okay so what is doing after which is i just update my index will be zero right and nothing is there in the stack because we just have to add stack element which is opening bracket right again when i go in this case which is opening right let's add into it okay after that we have closing right if it's closing we go to the else case i'm asking is this false they said yes please pop your element right i want just next element or we can say that just previous element of one they said we don't have anything right not an issue my else part will help you right if we go to the else case we know that your stack is empty right in that case index came into the picture and help you to get the length of it right okay if you see index will be answer i will be 2 right minus of index what is index 2 0 right okay in that case we get the value 2 right so my answer will be updated to 2 right okay after that we go to this case right and this is the opening bracket let's add 3 into it okay after that what's happening is we have the closing bracket right we go to the else case and i'm asking is this false they said yes please pop the element after that you tell me like you are false or not they said i am true not an issue index will help you what is index 0 right what is your i part 4 so 4 minus 0 will be 4 let's update my answer right after that what's happening is we have closing bracket so in that case again i am updating my answer right my index in that case will be i right which is 5 okay so after that we finish and whatever we have that particular part we have to return it right so that's the flow of your code right okay so hope you understand the intuition now let's see how we can code this same code we just have to do here right so just do the dry run by your own first okay so the first step, first step is we just have to find the length of it right after that what i'm doing is i simply make a for loop of it okay inside this what i'm doing is the first part is let's make a answer variable which is zero right and the second will be we just have to make the index which is minus 1 for the sake of time right okay so there is two things either it's opening bracket so if it's opening bracket what we have to do is we just have to push the index into my stack right okay else case right so we just have to ask we know that it's closing but we just have to ask first is this false anything is in there my stack right if they said i am false right okay in that case what we have to do is right so just suppose first if it's true in this case we just have to update my index index will be i right okay if it's false what we have to do is we just have to pop it right after popping it again i am asking is because i need the just previous value of it right if it's false not an issue let's update my answer i minus sc dot top will give you the previous value right else your index will help you in this case right okay so let's update my index right so yeah that's it for the case let's return and check it's working fine or not okay we have a uh, issue okay we are not making a stack okay let's make a stack here stack is of type int because we are adding index right yeah the compilation is good let's submit and check yes all the cases are passed right so let's talk about time complexity and space so if you see here what we are doing in the for loop is we just traverse the for loop right either it's false okay either it's means opening bracket either it's closing bracket we just have to do something adding into it or popping into it right in the stack part right so it clearly see its order of n the time complexity and we use the stack right it means the my 
space will be used as order of n, right? Whatever where n is your length of the string, right? So hope you understand the integer and solution. Thank you so much.